What up, base heads? Well, I'm up here at Wally World checking out some stuff. Actually, I came up here to, I needed some more work clothes and stuff. I've been wearing through some pants out there, weed eating and what have you. I'm getting me a straw hat to protect my ears, some gloves. Anyway, you guys don't care about that. This is what I wanted to show you. Remember, we, I was talking about making the flash drives for the, uh, the DJ Rustico packs? Look at this one. And I have that Superman symbol on my car already. So I'm going to get one of these. It's 32 gigs. I'm going to see how the sound quality is on it. And if the sound quality is good on it, then I can make more DJ Rustical ones for you guys. And you guys just figure out. It's kind of better than the Pops bass knob because, look, they got Batman. Even for the girls, there's a Wonder Woman one. Batman. Uh, ain't a big selection, really, that I see. I'm only seeing Batman. Superman and Wonder Woman. So, yeah, that's the only three. But still, the Superman or Batman would be cool. I like the Superman one because it goes with my car. It's going to plug right in. So, hell yeah, I'm getting that. And what else was I got? I was going to show you guys. Oh, this camera here, I'm going to put for my laptops. It says go live, it's got a built in mic. I got that one thing, but I'm going to try this thing out. It's only 10 bucks. Oh, well. And I'll show you guys one more thing. Check this out. It's a vlogging robot. Check this out, dude. I don't know, I'm, I don't know if I want to get this or not, but it, it's like a tripod. I guess you can put your phone sideways, too. It says for if you focus. That's why I was checking on phones, too, was here. Perfect for TikTok, YouTube, and Facebook. And it moves with you. So, 14 bucks. I'm gonna do some, I'm gonna check out, I'm gonna take a picture of it and look it up online and do some research before I buy it, see if they're any good. So, some of these little display things, I always be checking that stuff out when I'm at Walmart. And also, I wanna show you this phone. Let me see what you guys think. They said they don't have one in right now, so. Cause I got the eight. 20 which is a samsung 10 or whatever but this one's an a51 i'm trying to get a better phone so when i go live stream when i go to that show next month there's all the info on it she said there's only one coming in on the 25th i might try to find a one on facebook marketplace or go down to the cell phone store tomorrow and get one where i got this one but this is a straight talk one my phone i got now i got it unlocked it's a real regular real phone Samsung Galaxy, but uh, it don't matter. This one will work. It's this one's 60. I think it said 64 gigs. Yeah, see, 32 megapixel front camera. That's that'll work perfect, probably for live streaming. It's Android 10. Wish they had this in. I'd buy it right now. But uh, yeah, it says. I think it says it on here somewhere. 64 gigs. Anyway, just want to show you guys that real quick. That cool. This is actually what I want to show you. That's going to be awesome. I'm going to put my music on it tonight. Let's see. Anyway, I'll add too much more to this video tomorrow. I'm off this whole weekend. Check out these phones. Anybody know anything about these Moto E's? They're kind of cheap, though. I don't really. I, I like Samsung. So. I like the Samsung Galaxies. This one's nice. This S20. Uh, 450 bucks through AT&T it ain't bad but you got to get a contract and I'm not going to use them I just use straight talk because the only reason I use straight talk guys is because the service is better around here where I live I did have Metro PCS when I moved up here from Florida but you don't get no service here with that so <laughs> you might as well forget about Metro PCS if you move to a rural place in Kentucky but also the reason I like straight talk is because they got these cards you can just come get put money on whenever you want and whatever which i need to get a card anyway i need the 55 dollar one because i only got a, like another week left anyway that's all for now i'll put some more to this video tomorrow guys real quick go over what i was talking about before i ended the video decided to go ahead and show y'all see i got that foam and all that well i'm gonna put 
another 2x4 at the top and cut that foam out of there. <clears throat> that way I can uh, screw to it and have plywood birch come down. I'm going to take these out and get the shape of those and make those birch as well. But I want the amps laying sideways on here. You know, I just don't know if I might have enough wire to do it right now. But I need to order some more zero gauge. Plus, I want a sleeve. I got that nylon sleeve in that Tony sent me. I want to put the speaker wires in those. I want to make it look cleaner, you know, before I go back. But I, I need to order wire, and I need to order more sound dampening material for in here and for inside the car, for the sunroof. Um, so I got to get that. I want to do the trunk lid. I want to get some speakers. Like, I want to put the birch coming out this way. And I want to put, like, seal this off each corner, you know, may fill it with foam and all that, and put the, have the birch on it, and then have it catty corner from that with amps sitting across like this, and then on here have some more mid-range, some more 6.5s, maybe a, a 10 inch mid-range, or 8 inches here in the corners, each corner, and then uh, have another 4 channel, Tony, say he's got some Rockville ones, um, I think they were DB45s or something like that. I might get one of those from him and hook another four channel in here, run two four channels. Thinking about upgrading the 8K to a 12K because I'm getting box rise. I'm only getting like 6K out of it or close to it, like 58, but uh, 5,800. But we'll see. But right now, the main thing is getting this, uh, getting this decking redone in birch, making it look nice. I think I got enough wood for that. I'm going to do that tomorrow. We might go live and do it, guys. You know, I mean, I don't know. I got that, that little tripod and that boom mic. So we'll see. If not, I'll at least make a video about it either way. Because this, this camera and this phone's kind of shitty to do the lives. I want to show you the Superman freaking uh, USB while I'm out here. This part comes out right here. All right. I'm trying to do this one-handed. Now... If you take the USB out of the Superman thing, like this, see it's got the hole in it, and then you can plug your USB, you can plug your USB down into this right here, like this, and this goes down in here, and then you can have it on your keychain or whatever, like I said, there you go, see, but then... When you want to plug it in, I'm doing all kinds of cool little things. I'm going to keep doing stuff in here. I'm going to take this headliner out from here up, take the motor out, because see, it, that motor is why this bulges. And uh, I'm taking the whole headliner out. I'll put these back on once I get the plywood. And once I get that motor out of there, run sound dampening all on the metal. And then put three quarter inch plywood from back here up to the front of the windshield and then run a brace from right here going back to right there with make a little square block out of the three quarter inch and put the mounting bracket from the brace and have it go straight up the car up to here it'll be straight it'll be perfect for demos so that's the plan do one thing every weekend this weekend i'm gonna try working on the trunk some this i got like three or four weeks to get it done We'll see how far I can get. We're going to try to gain some DBs at this next show. We hit a 147 last time at 29 hertz. I didn't know my peak. We're going to try to get at least a 150. I want to do a 152. But we'll see. You know, of course, I got the lights and all that in here now. That's what the remote wire is. And you see a strip back there in the back. See it back there? No babies. We load up sometimes. Anyway. Oh. Look, this USB is tiny, too, and it sounds good. Let me find a song on here that I'm not going to get copyright, and I'll play it. Tone or something. I'll play a little bit. It's, it plays pretty clear, though. All right, hold on. All right, guys. We're going to um, test out a song real quick that I think I won't get copyright. I don't own the rights to any of this music, YouTube, in case you guys are worried about it. Just for demonstration purposes only, always. Anyway, let's check this out. I want to show you that the Superman USB, which, where's the piece? Dang, I didn't put it back on there. Hold on a second. See, as you see, it dangles on there. 
So it's really cool. It's really small. It's here's my other one. I got another USB in the house. I'm editing, getting all the low frequencies off that I can't play. These ones have all of them though. I think it's 2,800 songs. These are the ones I get from the dollar store. They're only 12 bucks. They they sound really good, guys. So if you want one, you can send me one of these. I'll put the music on it and send it back to you. But I just downloaded all that music onto this one this morning. I put it on, downloaded it. By the time I got back from Walmart, it was uh, ready to go. Oh, and I got these killer kicks. I'll show you. This is what I got from the store. I like the black shoes because they're they don't show dirt, you know what I mean? So, these are pretty good Nikes, I guess. They're called Rex, R-E-X, whatever, R-E-A-X. Anyway, got them new kicks. And uh, it's raining, so it sucks, but we're gonna do it anyway. So let's check this out real fast. Shattering glass and tapping. I'm no longer a thin dude. I was 17. I bounced like a nerf ball. Freaking raining today, man. 
can't do nothing unfortunately I was wanting to go out there and work on the car which we will tomorrow I might even go live and do it I'm not sure yet but uh, I got to put those fans in I really want to wait till I get the wire in I didn't have a chance to order it yet I gotta get some more zero gauge so I've seen some for sale on marketplace I might have snatched that from somebody I'm not sure yet but anyway I hooked up a really cool USB I showed you guys earlier in the other video um I uh I got it uh hooked up in the car right now it sounds really good it was made for music so I'm happy with that so it's got all the DJ Russell songs on it I can I can download them onto a USB uh, I'm I think it takes like 20 minutes or so something like that it goes pretty quick I don't know for sure on the time on it because I plugged it into the USB on my uh computer here and um it uh uploaded while I went to Walmart. I went and got shoe shopping and clothes shopping. I went and got a whole bunch of stuff. Um, but anyway, uh, it's been raining for the last day now, so can't really do much. I've been working other than that, so I ain't really had time to put nothing up. But you guys just stick with me. You guys know I'm still working on the car. I got to seal off that sunroof. I got a hell of an idea. I'm going to order one of those uh, braces. If you guys know where to get those those cool braces, you know, the, I don't know, some of them, whatever company makes them, um, I like, I get like a white one, a white pole one. Um, I'm going to need one of those because I'm going to take the headliner out, take the motor out for the sunroof, take um, Loctite, put around the edges of the sunroof, lift it up, you know, and then set it down in it, let that dry, then put like some styrofoam uh, sheets in the square get that green keiko board type stuff and put in the square there and then maybe use that foam around it to make it say stay up in there and then i'll close the hatch on it and then uh i want to have some sound dampening to go over all that and the metal and then put three quarter inch birch on it and use the pole the brace all the way from the peak of it towards the front of the windshield you know what i mean all the way back to the box because there's this flat spot there i could I could do a three quarter inch piece of plywood to make a square and for the mounting bracket on the brace. You know what I mean? So it'd go right up the center pole just like it's supposed to. So that's what I want to do. That's one of the things I want to do. The other thing is to get the two fans and, and, um, you know, put, take the, that chipboard out. That's the floor of the trunk right now and get those shapes and cut those out of birch also and, uh, clear coat it, make it real good. And then have like back in the back where you see the, the back of the, the, the sealed part of the back of the car because i mean the the fourth order has nothing to do with that sealed part that you see if you look in from the trunk I sealed that. it's like three sealed like three times that's why it sounds so good in my car because i got it really sealed good because i got two by fours on the other side of that but anyway i want to seal that from like like sideways going down and then put the amps on that so you see them sideways you know, and maybe put some lights back there and then on the, have the boards going off the sides after I put some sound dampening on either side of it and then ha put some mid-range and tweeters in the back back there too. You know, trying to make it more show worthy, you know what I mean? So that's the plan, you know, be a couple weeks, at, weekends at a time to do this. Um, I know I can get it done, just depending on weather and the time really. May 22nd, 23rd, we'll be going to um, Fat Farm in Russellville again. Anyway, um, I still, I, I've read you guys' comments. Uh, I know some of y'all have put stuff on there for me to play certain songs. I've noted those. Uh, Into the Sandman by DJ Slow and Throw. And I'm sorry that I didn't pronounce that right the other day. I just really wasn't familiar with him as much as I was uh, DJ Rusko. So, with that being said, please like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. And we appreciate each and every one of you guys. Like I said, no matter how big, how small, if you like it, we love it here on Base Junkie 2020. And with that being said, fellas, I'll catch y'all tomorrow when the sun's out. Late.